हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू सुफा इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल ई क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एस एस सी मैथ्स वन लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल वी नो दैट इन लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल द वेरिएबल मीन्स द सिम्बॉल हुज वैल्यू कैन बी चेंज और अ सिम्बॉल टू विच एनी न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू कैन बी असाइन एंड वी ऑल नो द कॉन्स्टेंट्स अपोजिट टू वेरिएबल कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर द सिम्बॉल हैविंग अ फिक्स न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू and now the linear equation in two variable here this linear word denotes line this linear word denotes line means when we draw the graph of linear equation it denotes a straight line after this this linear means a linear polynomial linear polynomial in ninth standard we have studied linear polynomial a polynomial having degree 1 is called a linear polynomial so linear equation the complete definition of linear equation is that the equation that contains two variables and the value of each term containing variable the degree of each term containing variable is 1 means suppose there is equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 student this is a standard form of linear equation we have studied in the 9th standard if you will observe that here x and y are variable ax is first term ax is first term by is second term and c is third term third term so here ax is first term by is second term and c is third term here first term second term contains a variable and this variable have degree 1 this variable have power 1 the power or index of x is 1 and the power of index Uh, uh power of variable y is also one that is why this equation is called as linear equation here keep in mind that a b and c are real numbers you have to keep in mind that a b and c are real numbers and one more thing you have to remember that a should not be equal to 0 and b should not be equal to 0 at the same time at the same time we can't make a and b zero because if we, if we will make a equal to zero and b equal to zero then this whole term will become zero and here the uh, c will remain there c is a constant so it will not a linear equation if a equal to zero then b y plus c is a linear equation but it will be linear equation in one variable and if b equal to zero then a x plus c is a linear equation but it is also linear equation in one variable so you can't make a equal to zero and b equal to zero at the same time but if a equal to 0 then by plus c is a linear equation and if b equal to 0 then ax plus c is a linear equation so keep in mind and this is a standard form of linear equation you have to remember all the equation that are linear will be converted to this form in uh, maharashtra board ssc examination the question for one for one mark will come to convert the equation to the standard form of linear equation in two variable if you will see here i written some linear equations on the board we will consider the first equation 4m plus 3n if you will see the first page of your textbook then there is a table you have to complete that activity so we have to complete that activity we will consider the first equation 4m plus 3n student 4m plus 3n equal to 12 can you tell me the standard form of this equation yes it will be 4m plus 3n and this positive 12 will come to this side it will become negative 12 equal to 0 so this can be converted to the standard form of linear equation into variable if you will focus then this equation can be converted to the standard form of linear equation into variable here two variables are m and n and the degree of each term containing variable is 1 4m the degree of 4m this term is 1 and the degree of 3n is also 1 that is why this is a linear equation in two variable so we can write yes in front of that because it is a linear equation it is a linear equation in two variable it is a linear equation in two variable now if we will consider this equation second one this is a linear equation but second one is not a linear equation i will tell you the reason because if we will consider this equation then in this equation 3x square the highest index if we will see of variable that is 2 and we want degree of a polynomial degree of a term containing variable that is 2 here degree is uh, 
degree is 2 and we want degree 1 for linear equation. If we will consider 7y, this term contains y variable and the degree of variable is 1. But due to the index of x that is here degree is 2 that is why it is not a linear equation. If you will consider the third equation then x and y are the variables and here the index of x is 1, y the index of y is also 1. So the degree of each term containing variable is 1 that is why this equation is a linear equation. Yes. This is not a linear equation, second equation is not a linear equation but third equation is a linear equation. Why? Because the degree of each term containing variable is 1. Now if we will consider this equation then it is a linear equation but it is a linear equation in one variable only. Why? Because the coefficient of x is 0, the coefficient of x is 0. So due to this term it will become this term whole term will become 0 that is why 6y minus 3 equal to 0 will remain there and this term is a linear equation in two variable but it contains only one variable. If you will see in your textbook in that activity uh, the question is that you have to see which equations are linear equation in two variable not in one variable. So it is a linear equation in one variable so answer will be no. And if you will see this equation this is not a linear equation if you will see this equation again here the second term is 0y second term is 0 y and due to this term this term will become 0 because the coefficient of y is 0 that is why this whole term will become 0 and the remaining term is 3 x 0 0.3 x minus 36 and it is also a not a linear equation in two variable it is a linear equation in one variable but linear equation in not a linear equation in two variable. Now the next equation is 4 upon x plus 5 upon y equal to 4. Just focus, focus on this equation I will tell you it, it is a linear equation or not. So student 4 upon x plus 5 upon y equal to 4. If you will see that here x is in the denominator and y is also in the denominator. Uh, in the next topic of the chapter, in the last topic of the chapter we will see how to convert the linear equation which are not linear equation to the linear form. But here now this it is not a linear equation. It is not a linear equation because here if we will consider the index of x then it will be minus 1. We all know the formula. 1 upon a raised to power m equal to a raised to power minus m. We don't want the negative index here. That is why it is not a linear equation. Now if we will consider this equation then first term is 4xy, second term is 5y and third term is minus 8. So if we will consider this equation then due to xy both the variables are in multiplication both the variables contain in a single term that is why here degree will become 2 here degree will become 2 the index of x is 1 and the index of y is 1 the complete degree of this term is 2 that is why this is not a linear equation in two variable. So student I hope you understand the basic topic uh, now we will study the next topic in the next lecture thank you for watching the video Allah Hafiz.